guess what day it is? That is correct. It's Bowtie Friday here on News Channel 8. I'm Junior Garcia, and here are some of the top stories we have for you tonight. Arrest made in the Cruz Bay stabbing. Orchid show at UVI. And David the Firewalker. These stories and more up next on News Channel 8. Channel 8 is brought to you by Body Beast. Call in the Virgin Islands 1 800 458 6815 for Body Beast. This program is the real deal. If you knew me a while ago and you see me today, you'd be like, man, what are you doing? I'm doing Body Beast. I decided to try Body Beast because I was looking for something different. I kind of wanted to lose weight at the same time gain muscle. It's easy. You know, a top story 25 year old. Kenson Jolly of Estate Pastoroy Gardens St. John was arrested on first-degree assault charges in connection with a stabbing incident that occurred on February 18th. Virgin Islands police officers were dispatched to Cruise Bay at 9.21 p.m. in reference to a report of a stabbing incident. The perpetrator was described as having been a black male wearing black clothing and carrying a machete. Officers discovered Rupert Walter, the victim, bleeding from multiple stab wounds. Minutes later, after searching the surrounding area, officers encountered Kenson Jolly, who matched the description of the suspect covered in blood. Jolly was detained and placed under arrest after being positively identified by a witness as the individual that assaulted Rupert Walter. Bail for Jolly was set at $110,000 and he was turned over to the Bureau of Corrections. In other news, officers of the Virgin Islands Police Department Warrant Unit executed an arrest warrant for Bernicia Plummer, who was charged with embezzlement obtaining money by false pretenses and grand larceny. Plummer, at age 38 of Anna's retreat, was employed by Southern Renter Own, failed to make 28 daily deposits, totaling 28000 $853.67. Plummer was remanded to the Bureau of Corrections and was later released by the court after placing a 25000 unsecured bond. Military Save Week is coming up and there will be a couple of events. Let's take a look. Well, if you're into savings like I am, the week to save is definitely coming up and I'm here with, tell everyone who you are. Linda Todman, the State Family Program Director for the Virgin Islands National Guard. All right. So now, Ms. Todman, tell us exactly, um, it sounds like Military Saves Week. Tell us a little bit about that. Military Saves Week is a campaign that's um, branched off from America Saves. Uh, and it's a week in which um, the Department of Defense is encouraging all military families to reduce debt and build wealth, essentially. Uh, we have a host of activities planned for the entire week, mm -hmm. and we're trying to encourage all military members as well as civilian members of our community to come out and support the events. Uh, these events pertain to briefings and workshops and a host of financial topics. Uh, we also have a, finan a financial fair on the 27th uh, of February and all on St. Croix and on the 3rd of March on St. Thomas. Uh, where we have um, a lot of vendors and, and departments uh, on, on financial well-being and, and mental health or behavioral health services available for anyone who's interested in meeting with those uh, agencies. So military and civilians can come to this event? Yes. And uh, is there a fee to come to this event? Because, I mean, if we're talking about savings. <laughs> no, it's entirely free. All the week's events are free. Uh, they are group sessions and one-on-one -on -one sessions, but they are free. And what's the name of the group that actually put this together here in the uh, Virgin Islands? It's the it's out of family programs, the Office of Family Program, and the Family Assistance Center Operations is who's taking the lead on this event for us. Um, and they have uh, we've requested uh, search support 
in the form of personal financial counselors and military family life counselors who are on ground and would be here starting with that week and for an entire month um, to provide you know whatever services, whether it's on tax preparation or financial counseling, um, reducing debt, you know, the whole gamut. So now tell me, why is this something that's important or you think uh, that needs to happen here in the Virgin Islands? Um, given, well, the goal of Military Saves is to encourage, um, to, to obtain 50,000 savers nationwide. So they're hoping that we can get 10,000 from the Army, 10,000 from the Navy, 10,000 from the Air Force, all the branch of services. Um, and it's a call to action uh, prompting service members to commit to paying themselves first um, by saving money and eliminating debt. Um, the uncertainty of military lifestyle, the force reductions, the transitions, the deployments, retirements uh, are all reasons why a commitment to saving and planning are vital to financial readiness and uh, safety. So now you, 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 you mentioned the word saying retirement. And somewhere down here, I think that's a goal for someone. <laughs> tell, tell us a little bit about that goal. You are saving for? Yes, I'm saving for my retirement. Uh, it's about a couple of, several years away, four years. But I, if I start early, I think I can meet my goal. Um, I think you can, and that's retirement. Um, Sergeant Fox is here with us. Sergeant Fox, what are you saving for? You're saving, is that a big home or is that, that is a big home? <laughs> That's why she wrote it in big letters. <laughs> so no mistakes here. So you're, 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 you're part of the group that's putting this together. You have soldiers that are ready to save and already look in that direction. Now, what's one, of the, what's one of the things that you look for and people can look for at this event? Well, they'll meet all subject matter experts in a host of, of of fields and areas uh, that will be able to address many concerns or issues that they may be having. Um, so it's an opportunity to come out and see the services that are available by the subject matter experts within the Guard, as well as the subject matter experts out w outside in the, the local community as well. So. Sounds like a good event, and that's an all-week event. All-week event. So starting on the 23rd of February, um, ending on the 20. 28th of February, but we have a financial fair on St. Thomas on the 3rd of March. Military Saves Week sounds like something fantastic and something that you should not miss out, especially in this day and time. Thank you. It's all about savings. Stay with us and don't touch that remote. We have more news right ahead. This is News Channel 8. This is News Channel 8. And welcome back to News Channel 8. The St. Croix Orchid Society are currently holding their 44th Orchid Show at the University of the Virgin Islands Albert A. Sheen campus throughout this weekend. So we're at the University of the Virgin Islands, and let me tell you, this is something of beauty. I tell everyone who you are. My name is Edna Hamilton. I'm the president of the St. Croix Orchid Society. Now, in the Orchid Society, there's... Uh, there's many different types of orchids. Uh, I'm learning about many of them today. Now, exactly what's going on today? Today we are having our 44th um, annual show where we are actually bringing out our beauties that we've been growing throughout the year to exhibit to the public of St. Croix so they can come and share with us all these beautiful orchids today or this weekend. So now this whole weekend, tell us, uh, give us the times and the dates that this is happening. We are on Friday. Today. Today. <laughs> <laughs> um, from 3 to 5, mm -hmm. on Saturday from 9 to 5, and then on Sunday from 9 to 3. And um, our basically our schedule is going to be at 10 o'clock. We'll be having a conference by Dr. Carlos Fagetti, which is one of our American Orchid Society judges who will be giving a conference on understanding phalaenopsis. There is a $10 fee for that um, lecture that's going to be given. Then in the afternoon, 
available to the um, attending audience there is a workshop on mountain orchids then on Sunday at 10 o'clock we are having a presentation or actually a mini workshop on repotting your works your orchids repotting your orchids then another thing that we are offering to the attendant public is while mommy and daddy are looking at the orchids we have a little kids corner where you can have your children come in we'll be giving them coloring pages and crayon and they can color and you know take a look at the orchids and color to the best of their ability we are going to be join, um, judging like from 12 and under and then they will be judged based on group ages and they will all get a little you know thank you kind of activity book for participating sounds awesome now tell me about uh you mentioned judging what's some of the things that would be actually judged when you're judging an orchid there are different categories that are being judged um part of it has to do with the general um, which means, you know, as you can see from looking at the, the different types of orchids, we have oncidiums and drobiums, they look at the genre, they look at the colors, they look at the form of the orchids. There are many different things that they look for when they're judging. So now if I wanted to, uh, if I wanted an orchid, mm -hmm. I can purchase one and I would be able to call you for help? Definitely, that's what the St. Croix Orchid Society is here for. We are here to help you out in getting your orchid to rebloom. Many of us have that problem. We buy an orchid and then we can't get it to rebloom. We're wondering, what did I do right? What did I do wrong? That's what the St. Croix Orchid Society is here. We are here to assist you, to help you, and basically to promote the hobby of growing orchids. This is a, a marvelous and excellent hobby to be a part of. You, there is education, there is pleasure in seeing these beautiful orchids. You also have the camaraderie of your fellow local people that also grow orchids. So we have meetings where not only do you get to bring your blooms, you also get to share with other people and you know share whatever um, tricks you may learn or anything that has to do with orchids. So tell me one last time, the times that we can come out here and look at these orchids. The times are today, Friday, from 3 to 5, tomorrow, Saturday, from 9 to 5, and then on Sunday, from 9 to 3. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right. So it's the Orchid Society, the Orchid Show. You don't want to miss that. Beautiful they are. You want to stop by there and get yourself or someone a beautiful gift. Tomorrow at 6.30 a.m., Mrs. Nana Maria will be hosting the third annual African Ball at the Botanical Gardens. Here's the details. But Nana Mary, um, I've heard about something, a big event that you have going on this weekend. Tell, tell us a little bit about it. This is an African ball. Um, I've been doing this ball for three years now. Um, before then, I was doing fashion shows for more than 11 years. But I'm stepping it out this time, and it's a ball, like a banquet, including the fashion show. Um, drumming and dancing, African drumming and dancing. We have in African food. We're going to have um, silent auction to benefit the children in Ghana, the school children that I have adopted in Ghana. So mo all the money that comes from the silent auction goes to the children in Ghana. So we have a silent auction, and it's an African ball. So now you're talking about it's going to have a fashion show, it's going to have African drums. This, this, this sounds like a really big event. It's a very big event because you have everything that you can think for the Black History Month, for the African uh, community. And it's not only for the African community, it's for everybody, everybody in the community. So now, do I need to have my African attire? Do I need my, my uh, how you say, the shinky? Do, do I, dashiki? Do I, do I need my dashiki to come through, or can I, can I dress uh, as the way I am right now? You really don't have to dress African. If you have it, it's good. But if you don't have an African outfit, you can come as you are. Is the person, your person that you come in is important. Okay, so now tell us exactly where and when and what I need to bring with me to get into the um, third African um, ball. It's going to be at the Botanical Gardens on Saturday, this Saturday coming, February 21st, and it starts at 6.30. We are always on time. It's not Christian time, it's not African time. We are always on time. And we start eating at 7 so we're not going to make you feel hungry before you eat. Um, 
You can get tickets by calling me, 277-6105, or Urban Threads, or um, Armstrong Ice Cream. Can you say the number one more time? The number is 277-6105. 6105 or Urban Threads or Armstrong Ice Cream. That's correct. All right. So now um, about the, uh, I just want to know one thing. If I go, do I get a chance to dance to the African drums? Sure. They, they're going to be dancing. And then at the end of it, they invite the audience to dance also. And if you do not want to dance in the African rhythm, we also have the live band to play. Yeah, I heard you're going to have a live band out there. Um, a matter of fact, what's the name of the band that you got? Full Time Band. Full Time Band. That's a new band that's out. And uh, wow, okay, so this is going to be um, what we know as uh, Turn Up. It's going to be very great. Um, the two that we have done have been successful so, so far. So I know it's going to be great this time too. Well, I tell you what, I think I'm going to make my way there. It's the third annual African Ball, February 21st. It starts at 6.30, you say? 30. Food is p.m., and food will be ready by 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. And the ticket is only $45. $45. And proceeds from the auction go where? To the children in Ghana. I'm going to also have some pictures at the, at the show pictures that I took from Ghana when I went to make presentations from the couple years that we have, community have helped me to, to raise some funds for them. All right. Well, I, well, this is it. I'm about to leave here and I'm going to find some, um, I'm going to find some threads so I can make it to this ball and hang out with Nana Mary. That's right. I need to find some threads. You guys make sure you hook me up and I'll be there and uh, celebrating for the African ball. Stay with us. We have more news coming up next. This newscast has been sponsored by Mario's Virgin Crystal. Let us save you the hassle of lugging those jugs around. Purified bottled water conveniently delivered to your home or office. Also available in your favorite grocery store. Call 773-2810. This is News Channel 8. This is News Channel 8. And finally tonight, here is David the Firewalker with this weekend's Firewalk Details. Firewalkers, are you ready? Come, let's go for a walk. We starting at 5 o'clock. You walk at your own pace because it's not a race. Saturday, we'll be meeting at, at Richard Junior High School. Good Hope Stoplight. Lagrange, Post Office, Fish Market, back to Arthur Richard High School. I repeat, the walk starts from Arthur Richard High School to Good Hope Stoplight, Lagrange, Post Office, Fish Market, back to Arthur Richard High School. Remember, all participants, of, you need to walk with at least one bottle of water. This walk starts exactly 5 a.m., and we start at 4.30. Be there by 4.30, 4.45 is warm-up time, and we leave exactly 5 a.m. sharp. Don't forget, don't wait until your doctor tells you to do what? Start walking. You need to start walking even before your doctor tells you to walk. Why? Because it's good for your cholesterol, high blood pressure, sugar, and most of all, stress. That's what's killing most of us around here. So to avoid anyone from getting sick, you need to start walking. Don't let that stress build up because that's one of the easiest sickness to hit you in a second. Not even a minute, a second. So for you that are looking at me right now, yeah, you, you're feeling guilty? Is you attacking too? You need to come out. See you there. Stay with us. We have your weather coming up next. Your weather. Coming up next. Your weather.
And here's a look at your five-day weather forecast. Tonight, scattered showers, mainly after 8 p.m. Mostly cloudy with the low around 68. East-northeast wind around 16 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation is 50%. New precipitation amounts of less than a tenth of an inch possible. On Saturday, scattered showers, mainly before noon. Partly sunny with a high near 81. East wind 16 to 18 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation is 50%. New precipitation amounts of less than a tenth of an inch possible. Saturday night, isolated showers. Partly cloudy with the low around 73. East wind 18 to 23 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation is 20%. On Sunday, Isolated showers, sunny with a high near 85, east wind 21 to 24 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation is 20%. This is Cheryl Francis with your Channel 8 News Weather. Thank you very much for tuning in. That's all we have for local news. Do not forget to like us on Facebook at WSVI CH8. On the behalf of WSVI CH8 TV News Channel 8, I'm Junior Judah Garcia. And World News is up next. Good night, Virgin Islands. News Channel 8 is brought to you by Body Beast. Call in the Virgin Islands, 1-800-458-6815 for Body Beast. This program is the real deal. If you knew me a while ago and you see me today, you'd be like, man, what are you doing? I'm doing Body Beast. I decided to try Body Beast because I was looking for something different. I wanted to lose weight at the same time gain muscle. It's easy.